people. Cody here. First want to start off with a little rant. Something I found out there in the wild. Candy, well they call them candy sticks. But back when I was a kid, these used to be smoke sticks, fake cigarettes. They used to try to look cool. Like that, you know. But today, they don't do that anymore because they're afraid. They're afraid that kids will get addicted to these or get addicted to the thought of smoking and do it later in life. And I'll tell you, I ate a lot of candy sticks or what I'm going to call them as candy cigarettes in my lifetime and I never developed a smoking habit. Juvenile diabetes? Perhaps. Smoking habit? No. So I think this is stupid. I wish they just, the only difference is they would put a little bit of orange there at the end. And yeah, you'd hold it up there and look cool and shit, but no. Still tasty as anything. They're great, they're fun, but they don't market them like they should, like they used to, what's right. And it isn't about really smoking, it's more about being a cowboy or something. It's just, it's just that rugged, smoky look. That's what it's all about. It's not about kids smoking. I like to do a study. I actually like to do a study. See how many people develop smoking habits from eating the smoking cigarettes, the candy cigarettes. I don't know. I bet you it ain't that high. I bet you it's about the same. That's what I'm betting on. But we'll see. Maybe if anyone out there has had a candy cigarette, tell me today if you actually smoke real cigarettes. There you go. There's something to do. I'm interested. I'm really interested in that. Because I think I'm right. I think I'm really right. want to thank Brandon for that nice intro. Brandon's a cool dude. I got his links in the crotch bar. I think some people are calling it that. I'll steal that. Sure. He's a good, good kid. Made me an intro. That is awesome. That's always mind-blowing when people put the actual effort out there to do something musically for me since I'm so musically retarded. I want to talk real fast about Toy Story 3. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to see this. I don't see a lot of movies. I usually have to have a lot of drive to see any movies. I think the last movie I saw was Up. So, there you go. There's a... It's been a while. I really like what Pixar is doing with this ad campaign. They've actually made a YouTube account. They put old-timey commercials on it from the 80s and 70s and whatnot. Then, they snuck in their own ad for Lots of Hugs, this teddy bear, who's going to be in Toy Story 3. It's a really neat viral campaign. It's just really smart and really neat. They they just took this all this footage. They, they shot an ad with kids and stuff. And they made it look like grainy VHS tape with rainbow lines through it. And audio on one side of the the speakers. It's just, it's, it's lovely. It's just amazing what they did. Uh, props for that. That's a smart idea. I like that idea a lot. I wish more companies would get that ground roots kind of campaign going where you just make something out of nothing and you implant it and people really can't tell the difference. A lot of people actually think a lot so bear, lots of hug bear existed when it really did not ever exist. So I am also put that in the crotch bar if you want to see that. If you haven't seen it, of course, I'd say open it up in a new tab so you could stay here for a little while. I don't know. I got this really nice personal message from a friend called Kooky Moose. Actually, I used to think his name was Cookie Monster. I just didn't really look at the name. I just looked at the beginning and near the end. And I apologize for calling you Cookie Monster once. Kooky Moose. Anyway, he sent me this uh, personal message. I'm going to read some of it. Uh, you freaking man beast, let me just tell you a little story of how I discovered your YouTube channel. I was just clicking around one day on YouTube and somewhat disgusted at most of what I was seeing and what I was sub to for that matter. I was sub to a lot of 
the common mofos that many here seem drawn to. Sexy Fido. Fido. I guess he's trying to make a, I don't know, like pedophile or something. I don't know. Shea Carl and the like. Just rubbish. And the thing about these heavy hitter channels that I despise was the lack of community involved in their channels. Trippy asks questions simply for comment numbers. I think we've all heard that. I really hate that. Ooh, grades on me. It's like, when was the first time you got kissed? Tell me about it, and I'll ignore it forever. It's just, that's what it is. I just knew that there had to be a different side to YouTube. Then one day I saw a video of yours. I watched it probably five times. That's not, that's not doctor's orders. You really shouldn't watch any of my videos more than three. In the video, you actually showed the crap in your YouTube inbox of people on YouTube who wanted to check out, who wanted you to check out their channel and how full of shit they were and how common they were. You even went into their videos and demonstrated how they couldn't even take the time to respond to a single comment from the hundreds of subs they had. And that, and that is very true. People, you, you could see it now. Now they have uh, video uploaders' comments right off the top, and that's a real good way to tell if someone's actually responding to their fan base, to the people that watch their videos, if they have comments there. If they don't, and it's just the top-rated comment, that's bad news. That means that person ignores everyone, everything they say. Uh, let's see. Lost my place. Many of the tubers you mentioned in your video I was subbed to, and it really sent a message to me. I said to myself, here's a guy, you, with maybe 500 subs, calling these guys out for what they are, what they were, and honestly, I don't think there's a word for those kind of people. But you just hammered out the realness of what bullshit this kind of pandering on YouTube is. So pretty much, that's the letter, and really nice. It goes on for a long time, and, uh... Just and he wants to. He's gonna send me something in the mail. We'll see what it is. I'll open it, of course, on my channel because I like to open stuff here. But real nice guy. And Daniel, Daniel. Yeah. Do you think you may even know Kooky Moose, right? I think I met him at um. What was it? The. Uh, Relate the story that he told you. He first he's a bearded man, correct? Yes. He has man, a man. He hikes the Appalachian trails. Yep. And he worked at this uh, outpost that's uh, near Blood Mountain in North Georgia. It's the beginning of the Appalachian Trails up in North Georgia. And so uh, he was working there, and he told a story about how he went on a hike with a uh, fat guy who weighed like 400 pounds. And by the end of it, he weighed like 200 or something. Cool. So, possible. You know, when we're in this general area, we probably run into each other. Uh, everyone's probably run into each other. At least a little bit. Thank you, Kooky Moose, for the letter. Nice guy. Some great videos. Some really good views and stuff of the Appalachian Trail and just nature videos. Just really uh, scenic and relaxing and calming and all that jazz. Uh, the opposite of me. This isn't scenic and I'm not calming, but I do what I do. Hmm. I just wanted to throw this out here. I have not seen any of the cartoon myself, but let me tell you. From what the commercials I've seen, Neighbors from Hell looks so damn retarded. I just, I, I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. It just looks stupid. People, everyone wants to get into this adult cartoon racket, but no one knows how to do it properly. It just seems like everyone's just flinging stuff against the wall and see what sticks. In fact, that's how The Simpsons got started. So, a lot of it's guesswork, but some of this stuff just looks so amateur that you don't even want to waste your time on it. It's really pitiful because I really like a good adult cartoon and a lot of people just can't deliver it. It's really going to mud up the waters, but it is what it is and TBS is continuing trying to make original programming funnier than the reruns that they show, but they can't even come close. So I thought I'd throw, out, throw that out there just randomly. I don't know if anyone's seen any commercials for that, but just it just seems bizarre and overly grotesque for no reason at all. Also, I saw a commercial for this Late Night Liars. He had sort of a game show with puppets. Also very retarded looking. I don't know. Uh, I'm not giving it a chance. I'm just saying, from what I've seen, the commercials, 
I don't even want to check it out. It's just bad looking. It just looks so bad. So bad. So. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's seen any of the shows or if they've actually debuted yet. It just. The TV landscape's gotten so much worse lately. I guess right after Lost went off air, it just went to crap. I want to thank everyone that subbed me recently. Of course, everyone who stayed subbed to me. Because without the people that first came and subbed to me, I wouldn't be at the number I'm at today, which is amazing. Like I said, I gained 100 subs in six days. That is, that is just mind-blowing. Because I tell people all the time, it took me a one year to get 100 subs when I first started here on YouTube. And I just did that in six days. That, I just can't even wrap my little minuscule mind around that. Thank you guys, it's really humbling. It, I just, it makes me so happy. Although I fear a lot of them are like these sub for subbers. And let me tell you, if you don't really make original content and you don't put the work in your videos, I'm probably not gonna sub you. It's not probably gonna happen. But I mean, you're probably not even watching this anyway, so we'll get this message. But someone has entered me in some kind of sub for sub ring, and I've been getting a lot of subs. And hopefully, some of those people watch. I want those people to watch and understand there is a community here and there is interaction that needs to be made to be able to have fun here, just to keep this thing interesting. If you just want to do this for all the subs in the world, it really is kind of, of a letdown because, I mean, hell, you can have 17,000 subs and no videos. And, who gives a beep? No one even knows who you are. In fact, you upload your first video and people are like, who the F is this? Who are you? Oh wait, you're that guy who hoard for subs. I'm gonna unsub, unsub now. Because <laughs> I don't like you very much. I liked you before when you didn't know videos. That was our relationship. So, yeah. But it's really neat though. And hopefully some of you guys are watching. <laughs> I know some of the new guys are watching. I've seen some comments from them, and I appreciate it. I, I try. I try. That's all I can do. I can try. And already I'm almost back to about 50 subs in three days. So uh, we're going to do it again, I guess. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching and subbing and commenting and everything you do. Spreading my videos to other people. It just means the whole world to me. Uh, this is really late internet's been really slow all day getting this out here now but I'm just gonna I'm gonna end it with the Cambodian frog statue whoops in the dogs boy Ocarina <laughs>